As we open God's word today, I have a special word, I believe, of encouragement. I really do believe if we listen to this, open our hearts, and we're going to be strengthened, especially during this difficult season of the pandemic, COVID-19, just absolutely crazy. I talk to people around the country, ministers, as we talk, we keep reminding ourselves, there's, for, and for all of us, there's no way to go back and say, Okay, remember when this happened before, we did this and we did that, so we learned from that because none of us have ever been this way before. Nobody has said, oh yeah, I remember the pandemic of 1994 when everything was shut down from month after month after month. So this is a word of encouragement because with this pandemic has come a tremendous attack of discouragement, depression, anxiety, and a lot of other negative things. Let's go to God's word and find out the path he has chosen for us. I'm calling this message today, the battle for today, not the battle of today, not today's battle, the battle for today. And the verse that I have, just one uh, text that I want to read I'll, I'll mention others later. In Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 8th verse. Come on, we all know this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Those are all units of time. Let's talk about time for a second. Scientists who don't believe in God are more and more convinced that there was a moment, call it the Big Bang Theory or whatever, there was a moment that everything began. Matter, energy, and time itself. In other words, what we call the elapsing of time they're saying that always wasn't so. They're saying that. So time began, energy began, and material world began in boom. So let's talk about time. Time began, and the Bible indicates that time will end. When Christ returns, it'll be the end of time, and time will usher in eternity. No more time. No more minutes or hours or anything. Eternity. Or as some call it, time without end. We can't even imagine that because we're all conditioned by time. Today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. We're, we're, we deal with time. So what are the measurements of time? You know, we have words like eons, eras, E-R-A-S. We have millennia. You know, when the year, remember Y2K, the world was going to end. Everyone said computers were going to crash. Hundreds of millions of people would die. Remember all those people writing books? Didn't work out that way, fortunately. Uh, a millennia, that's a thousand years. Then there are centuries. You know what a century is, right? That's 100 years. We're living now in the 21st century. The 20th century was 1901 to 1999 to 2000. Then we have years, or decades, I should say. Decades are 10 years at a time. 10 of those make up a century. Then you have years. 365 days usually is a year. That's how we measure time. When did that happen? What year was that 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 happened? That's how we talk. Historians talk about, you know, the, the Black Plague of the 14th century, the bubonic plague, the 1300s. So we have years. Now in the year, we have months. We just hit a new one, October. And by the way, the year 2020, mm, 
That's going to be one to remember. 2020, a year like no other. So then we have months, 12 months make up that year. A month, though, is made up of four weeks. And the week is made up of days. Now, there to God, there's only one measure of time coming into our world that's important to him. Today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. We can look back and say, praise God, he died on the cross. The Spirit was poured out. Our sins have been erased. He is the same yesterday. He's the same tomorrow. He's got us covered. We're going to be with him forever. All things are going to work together for good to work out the plan that he has for our future. He went to prepare a place for us that where he is, we will be also tomorrow. But the only thing that matters to us in your life, in fact, your life, my life, is only one thing today. Why? Because you can't go back to yesterday and undo anything. You can remember and count your blessings. We can remember God's faithfulness. Oh, yes. We can do that. That's a good thing. Or, as we'll talk later, the past, yesterday, can bite you and scar you and get you nasty real quick. Tomorrow, we trust and leave with God and we look forward to going home and being where he wants us. But if you just live in tomorrow, well, what about tomorrow? What's going to happen? When will this end? Tomorrow, 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 like Annie sang on Broadway. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow. But what, what is tomorrow? Well, number two, according to the Bible, how do you know you'll see tomorrow? Don't say the Bible says tomorrow, I'm going to do such and such. Say, if God's will, I'll do that tomorrow. Everyone who dies today, October 4th, and people will be dying all over America and all over the world, they didn't wake up for the most part saying, oh, this is the last day of my life. But tomorrow, no, they're planning tomorrow, next week, next month. They got tickets to go to Vegas, the whole thing. And they didn't realize their only day was today. And you can live in the past and rejoice even as a Christian in Jesus. Talk about the future and say, praise God, look what he's prepared for us. And miss today. The question is, what does Jesus mean to you today? What is he saying today? What do you need today that he wants to supply? Today. Because you can miss your todays because you're looking back or you're looking future. Oh, listen. Counseled how many people who lives their lives have suffered loss. It's a tragedy. They live in the past or in the future, and unfortunately, all they have is today. Today is October 4th. That's the only day you have. If you're hearing my words, that's the only day you have. Don't say Monday the 5th. Don't say that. If God wills. If God wills, we're going to pray together on Tuesday. The past, what can I do? What can, we, can we go back? So the Bible tells us that the focus is on today. Today, Jesus is the same. Ready, willing, wanting to provide. He wants to protect you when? Today. How could he protect you yesterday? If today is Sunday, how would he protect you for last Wednesday? It's gone. It's over. How can he protect you for next Friday, which would be the 9th of October. How could he protect you for the 9th if we're living on the 4th? Everything with God is one day at a time. That's his measurement of time. When, when can you get saved? You only got one day to get saved. Today is the day of salvation. You can't get saved uh, last uh, August. You can't get saved for Christmas. You can only get saved today. His salvation is only offered one day today. You can't say, no, I'll put it off. I'll get this thing straight one day. No, no, listen to me. Today, 
He wants to comfort today. Are you discouraged? He'll comfort you today. He'll bless you today. He'll bring you peace and joy today. He'll strengthen you today. Satan is tempting you. You need strength to fight off all the anguish inside of you, the frustration, the stress. What day can God strengthen me but today? How is that even possible? And yet we don't live that way. We don't make every day a masterpiece. We don't wake up in the morning and say, this is my whole life today. No, we don't. Ah, same old, same old. Oh, no, it's not same old, same old. It's the only day I have. Jim Simbla's life is right now one day, today. Can't go back, can't undo. Thank God for blessings in the past. Can't worry about the future. Don't worry about tomorrow, Jesus said. Every day has a, enough evil of its own. Isn't that a good lesson? That's found in Matthew. I'll give you the reference later. He said, don't worry about tomorrow. What, what are, what's happening in America and in the stock market? The whole world is based on worrying about tomorrow. When will the pandemic end? What's the election going to bring? What's this? What's that? What's that? And today goes by, and what do we do for God? What do we receive from him? No, 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 no. He's the God of yesterday, and the God one day I'll be with him, uh, a pie in the sky, and a by and by. And today, eh. We just kind of struggle through. But he's the same yesterday. What he did for Elijah, what he did for Moses, what he did for Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, what he did back then, he could do today. I don't have to wait till the future. I only have today. So, tomorrow is unsure, unknown. Yesterday's gone. Today is my whole and only life. Luke 11, verse 12. The Lord was teaching them to pray. Give us this day our bread for the rest of 2020. I want to go to Costco and stock up. Lord, I don't want to do this day-by-day -day thing. That's a little nervy. You know, you go to bed at night and you're wondering what if tomorrow... With what it will bring, you know? And God says, nope, you pray this way. Give us this day our daily bread. You know, when the Israelites were in the wilderness, remember this when we went through Exodus? The manna came one day at a time. Manna was the heavenly food, for those of you not familiar with what I'm talking about. Manna, M-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, and it sounds like the Hebrew word for what is it? And it was laying on the ground. When the dew disappeared, there it was. And they had to come out of their tents and gather it day by day. And the Lord said, you do not keep it for the next day. I want you to go to bed at night with nothing except I'll be faithful tomorrow. I'll supply your needs day by day. Do you need love for some nasty person today? He can only help you love him today. What, are you going to love him next week? What, are you going to love him when you were 16? We can only love today. You want to help someone? You want to give a glass of water? When could, you, when could I help anybody but today? My friends are here, Ryan, Scott, and others are in the auditorium helping me do this. If I want to be a blessing to them, what am I going to do? Be a blessing tomorrow? I don't know if I'll live tomorrow. How can I be a blessing when I was in Erasmus Hall High School? That's all gone. I have today. You have today. And many of us miss today. We don't live in today. We live in la-la land. We live in, I don't know, a daze, a fog. Give us this day our daily bread. The tragedy of living in yesterday Evil or good. Let me tell you about yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday is a trip. The Bible does say often, remember, remember what the Lord has done. Remember this, remember that. So yesterday has some good parts. And if you use yesterday in your thought life, oh yes, God did it then, he'll do it again. Remember what I did. Remember, it says over and over in Scripture. Then Paul also says, 
Forgetting those things that are behind. Why? Because yesterday got some junk. People who hurt you when you hurt yourself. Sins you committed that the enemy is going to pound you on because he knows you can't undo it. And if you're not aware of the mercy and grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ, you'll live in guilt and condemnation. How many people are depressed because of what happened five years ago? He walked out on me. How many times have I heard that in my life? My dad started drinking when I was 12. He drank for 22 years, beat my mother, beat me. My house was a, a hellhole, okay? If I'm going to dwell on yesterday and focus on that part, I'm going to be all crippled for the rest of my life and bitter. Why me? Why me? Why my mom had to get beat and all of that? No, yesterday can bite you. That's why people have attitudes and they're hard. Why? Because they live in yesterday. They don't live in today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. They're talking about, oh, you don't know what she did to me. You don't know what he did. You can't undo it, but it's under the blood. And Jesus is greater than our past. Remember what Joseph said when he was in Egypt and had so many bad things happen to him. He got married to an Egyptian lady after being betrayed by his own brothers and Potiphar's wife, lied about, put in jail. Read about it in Genesis, those of you not familiar. And when he had their first child, he named the child Manasseh, which sounds like to forget because he said, God made me forget all the evil done to me by my father's household. He didn't, God didn't, you know, erase it from the videotape. No, but he took the sting out of it. Otherwise, you live in yesterday. If he would have remembered all that was done to him, he could have wrecked everything. Gone back up north to the land of Canaan and wiped out his brothers. And the same thing about the future. We can rejoice knowing our future is secure and praise God for that. And that's good. We rest in that. I know who holds tomorrow. But it also can cause anxiety. Like, what's going to happen? What if she dies first? He dies first. What if I lose my job? I hear they're contracting in, in, my, uh, in my company. Uh, when will the pandemic end? Uh, um... I have to take an MRI. Uh, I need my doctor's appointment. I wonder what will show up then. It's, look, you can worry and be anxious and have no joy and no peace. It's all robbed by tomorrow or yesterday. And the Lord teaches us, no, live today. The battle is to live for the day, today. His provision for our lives is for today. I just saw this uh, in the scripture this week. I love this. Jesus is on the cross, and there's that thief. Both were cursing him on either side for a while. And then one thief, on the day Christ was crucified, one thief must have discerned something. This holy person, this loving person, he doesn't answer back. He got convicted somehow that, that this is not a thief like us. And he said to him, Lord, would you please remember me when you come into your kingdom? You know the story. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Today. Whatever God wants to do in my life, he has to do it today. Yes, there's future plans. The past is gone. But today is the day. Today you'll be with me in paradise. I got your future covered. You're going to be with me forever, thief. I got your back covered, your, your yesterdays. Your sins are forgiven. You're trusting in me. Today you'll be with me in paradise. Not manana. Oi. Today. 
oh, how that would change us if we started living for day. Wake up in the morning and say, this is the day God's given me, my only day, my only life. So whatever good I'm going to do, whatever sin I'm going to avoid, whatever victories I'm going to have, whatever changes in my life, how can God change me except today? Will he change me when I first got married? No, it's gone. Will he change me two months from now? I don't know if I'll be alive. Don't you get it? Today. Today. See, that's the battle like in our society. It's instant gratification and things that we know even in that level are good for us. It's always manana. I'm going on that diet. Oh, listen, dude, I saw the doctor. The doctor said, like, what's up with that? You got cholesterol like that. It's breaking the chart. So here's what you need to do. You need to go on a keto, paleo, triple paleo, double keto, plus exercise 11 hours a day. You know what? I got, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And then you walk out of the office. You see your... Friend, and he goes, come on, let's, I'll go home with you. Yo, there's a Krispy Kreme store there. You want to stop in, get a Krispy Kreme? Yeah, yeah, I like that. No, but what did the doctor say? No, 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 tomorrow, li listen, tomorrow I am serio. I am muy serio. I'm serious tomorrow. What are you kidding? You think, no, tomorrow. The only thing is, tomorrow is a repeat, another repeat, because everything gets postponed. To mañana. No, today. Today. Listen to me. Today. The pandemic, worry, and stress syndrome. God is saying, Matthew 6, 34, that's the verse. Don't worry about tomorrow. Every day has enough trouble of its own. The victory that God has for us. Here's how you're going to get through the pandemic. I'm going to close. Are you enjoying this? I hope you are. I'm enjoying this. I'm getting blessed. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart, Paul says. We don't get discouraged. We're in the ministry. We get beat up. We get arrested. We get pounded. We get thrown in jail. We get spit at. We got stoned once, at least. We got this, that, that. But we don't get discouraged. Like, dude, how do you do that? How do you travel around with no New Testament standout, no big money supporters, no buildings to meet in? How in the world do you not get discouraged? We get discouraged if, if, if we see a mosquito go by us. Paul said, no, we don't lose heart. I don't get discouraged. So here's the secret. Though outwardly we are wasting away, Yet inwardly, we are being renewed day by day. My inner person, Paul said, is made new. Through God's word, through his presence, through fellowship with him, I get renewed so that I'm brand new. I'm ready to, come on, I could do this. How do you do that? No, every day I get renewed. I don't go in the gas station and fill up and then go six days without visiting the gas station. No, no, every day. Every day he gives me strength. Every day he fills me with new love. You can't live off of yesterday's manna. This is the danger of living in yesterday. Oh, when I was back in Trinidad, oh, in Port of Spain, I was in the open Bible. Oh, we had some meetings. That's good. Unfortunately, that was 30 years ago. How about today? What is the Lord doing with you today? Remember that church in Revelation? Jesus said, I have this against you. You've lost your first love. There was a day when you were like down with Christianity. I mean, you were fervent. You were dedicated. But now you lost it. So today you have a need. But that's the, what the Lord is saying. I want to renew you every day. Don't. You know, there's the operative word today in a lot of circles is season. Everyone's going through a season. I understand there are seasons in life. But don't live by seasons. That's not scriptural. Live by the day. 
One day, that's my life. Your life is today. If you see this, it's October 4th. This is your day. When the sun goes down and you go to sleep, that's the end of your life for that day. If you wake up on Monday the 5th, that's your life. What is Jesus going to do that day? Only that day can he do anything. So we can... We can get into Christian slogans and God is good all the time. But is he good to you today? Have you appropriated what he wants to give you? I'm a king's kid. I know, but what are you doing with your father? What are you receiving from him today? How can you grow but today? You can't grow yesterday and you don't know about next week. You can only grow today. Today, every day, daily renewal. He forgives sins we commit today. Today, he protects us from temptation. Are we going to be men and women of prayer? When can you pray? When can I pray but today? When can I come boldly to the throne of grace? When, when, when on my honeymoon? No, that happened. Next week, I don't know if I'll be there. Today I can come boldly. Today I can pray, God, make today a masterpiece. Let me be like Jesus today. Let me be clean and holy and pure today. That's all. Just today. Listen. Listen to me now. I've learned this through failure and struggle. When I went in the ministry and started going to big projects, I didn't know this like I know it now. So I would try to look to the end of the whole thing. It would overwhelm me. So this project that brought us in 2002 after 9-11 uh, into our present facility, for those of you watching from afar, we're in a building that was built in 1918. Large theater, over 4,000 seats originally. And we took it over when it had been vacated, turned into four theaters, needed total rehab, Three other office buildings, disasters, and that building was a disaster. Architects, rehab, new HVAC. Listen, I can't even tell you, and I'm not given, I don't have expertise in these areas. The building was depressing. I had friends visit who thought, poor Jim, he lost his mind. Yeah. You could talk to my friend Tony Evans right now. He visited, I gave a tour to a couple other people. David Jeremiah was another one. They saw the building. We're still meeting in our old building. And I, they said, let me see this building you're, you're thinking of buying and you're going to get. I took them through it. They were like, oh, no. They didn't say anything, but they all told me later. We got on the plane and went, boy's gone off. No. He's, you understand what I'm saying? He lost it. There were rats so big. They wore glasses and had little attache cases, and they were reading the New York Times. That's the truth. That's how big they were. So when I got into that project, and they started telling me all that we have to do and drawings of it, a, and then I remember what I had learned. All you can do is today. That's all. Today. What can I do today? How can I pray today? What do I need from God today? And if I get through today, guess what? I wake up the next day and I say, well, God, we got another day. I got another life now. Another day, just today. If you look at the end, listen to me. Don't try to figure out the future about the pandemic and school and the economy and everything. Just live today. Trust God today. And you put enough todays together, it's amazing the beautiful tapestry that God can weave. What day can we rejoice? Rejoice in the Lord always. That's true. But the only day I can rejoice is today. I can't rejoice for tomorrow. I can't rejoice. Oh, man, when I was 25 years old, I wasn't thanking God enough. I got to go back. No, you can't go back. Just thank him today. Some of you, why don't you stop? Why don't we stop complaining and counting our problems and start praising today? Don't say amen and nod. Do it Today, when this program ends, do it today. Take a walk. Get alone in a room. Oh, God, I praise you today. I love you today. I, show me what to do. Lead me today. 
Renew me today, today, today. Oi, 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 today. And here's, and that's the way we can defeat, defeat Satan's, one of his great strategies, is he lures us to live in the past. Or he lures us to worry about the future. Anxiety, worry, what if, what's going to happen? I don't know. I can't control this thing. It makes me so anxious. Or in the past and, oh, yeah, that's that girl that was my friend in junior year in high school, she thought she was all that. And she, you know, left me for her other friends. Hey, you're 61 years old. Let it go. Let it go. But that's how Satan works. The past, the future, anything but Jesus today. Just divert us. Divert us. So, the Bible says, last verse, Psalm 68, verse 19. Who daily bears our burdens. God who daily bears our burdens. What are your burdens today? Leave it there, leave it there. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. If you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. When? Today. He daily bears our burdens. The stuff I went through in 2005, he can't help me with that. The stuff that I might be going through in 2022, should that day come for me, he'll help me then. But right now, he says, what, look, look at me, what are the needs you have today? I want to bear them. Pray to me today. Humble yourself and say it is demasiado, too much, and give it to me today. I will help you today. I love you today. Not just back on the cross. I love you today. You are dear to me. You're the apple of my eye. My eye is upon you, Chim Simbola. There's no place you can go today that I'm not going to be watching and wanting to help you if you'll just look to me and trust me. Trust him today. The just shall live by faith. So when do we have faith in God? Today. I can't have faith tomorrow, and I sure can't have faith yesterday. Today. Come on, we're going to do this. Whatever we're going through, we're going to get through it day by day. Daily sacrifices they had in the Old Testament. Daily thanksgiving, daily rejoicing. So, last helpful word, I trust, I hope. My uh, executive assistant, Lacey Ann Francis, She's working with me now for more than a year, year and a half, and she's learned how I look at things, invitations or projects or possibilities, and I'll write on a piece of paper to her, check the W's and the H's, because I want to pray about it, but I, don't, I have no clarity on it. So W's and H's have meant a lot to me. What are the W's? Who, where, what, why? W's, when, then the H's, how long, how many times do I speak, how long do I have to speak, et cetera, et cetera. So I want to leave that with you, and let's apply it to the Bible. Everything, the what and the when, what, in everything give thanks, when, today. What? Trust in me with all of your heart. When? Today. The answer to every W of when is today. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. When? Today. Well, when am I going to do it? Last week? Today. Today. Today be open. Who can I talk to? Who can I bless? Love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. When? Today. Today, be kind to someone who, who is just, just irritating to you. 
because we were all irritating and more to God, and he forgave us. But all of these things, love one another, even as I have loved you today, 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 oi, today, daily. Be renewed daily. Let's pray. Father, please teach us to number our days one at a time. Today is my only day. Please, God, open the hearts of those who are listening, who Satan has tempted to live in yesterday or seduce them into worrying about tomorrow. Help us to count on you today. Walk with you today. Rejoice in you today. Receive grace and mercy today. Go to the throne of grace today. Study your word today. Today. We claim in Jesus' name victory over yesterday and today as this, uh, tomorrow as distractions. And you'll help us live day by day following you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, now, so before we, before I sign off, what are you going to do today? Do it today. Do it today. And if you're not sure what, just get along with God. Come on. I'm not God. I'm just a guy. Go to God and say, what, 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 do you, what would you have me to do today? Oh, let me, oh, yeah, I need to praise you today, love you today. Do it today. God bless you.